you hear the vibrato sound. The that's just me adding more breath and less breath, it's like a like that type of sound. Uh, one of the techniques that you can do when you play these flutes of any flute of any kind, you can uh, do your quick little uh, taps. And just get uh, creative with it, you know. Just take it um, and just uh, da -da 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 -da. don't you, you don't. To me, when you're worshiping the Lord, He loves it when you're very creative, you know. Our Lord Jesus loves creativity. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple others here. Um, this is the Beloved Flute. Again, <laughs> I'm getting this Beloved. Uh, the series of beloved flutes and this is the junior flute and you can see there's one uh, and here's another one of how the whole pattern you see how size the whole patterns are they're, they're very close together good for children um, they're not very wide finger holes I can even make them smaller than that but uh, generally I prefer the larger little bit larger hole size um, and if you notice that they have been beveled, you can see the bevel to them, so that the fingers go down into it much easier and, and gets a better solid hole. And when you're playing any flute, you want to make sure that you're pressing good pressure on there. If any kind of air gap is left, remember we're talking about half notes, you're going to get uh, the wrong note. Uh, you won't get the note that you're thinking you are when you're pressing it, because you're not pressing it tight enough, you're leaving a gap in it like that. Uh, which is good for half notes, but not for the solid note of pressing it down like that. This is what the uh, little beloved junior flute sounds like. Same, same holes, same pattern, same type of uh, uh, fingering. Here it goes. And so that you can see this one up close, you can see they're all made with uh, uh, real good craftsmanship. I do uh, really diligent work about these to make them. They're very well put together and you can see that that's what it looks like going that way. Okay, um, <clears throat> I've made some flutes for people that have been different styles. Uh, let's say you like like the way that this is a side blown flute first off the transverse style okay and this is an E minor If you like the way that sounds, like you say you see a flute on the site and you like the way that sounds, but you would prefer to have that style of a pattern in the inblown, just let me know in an email and I'll custom make one for you. The price will be different because it's an inblown and I'll, I'll, I'll just be honest and tell you why. Because the transverse side blown flutes are really quite simple to make in, in theory. Uh, because you just have a hole to put in right here and there's more than just a hole there by the way it's there's a tuning technique behind it um, as compared to this here to make it the inblown recorder style there's a lot more intricate work to do to get this air chamber flowing correctly through that and across that hole up there and it takes a lot more work and uh, so that's why there would be a price difference between uh, the side blown transverse style and if you want it in this style and again here I played this flute I'll play it for you okay this is the in blown flute da 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 there you go see a block same thing it's E minor okay And uh, 
these natural colored bamboo flutes are available uh, as long as my stock lasts. I do have uh, more bamboo drying out and by the way I did go out I personally go out and I cut these bamboo down. I don't order them through the uh, the truck or anything like that. I go out and I cut them down. Uh, the, these bamboo, they could actually come from uh, a, a wonderful place called the Christian Retreat in Bradenton, Florida. And thank you Pastor Phil for your generosity. And uh, so these are special flutes to me because they come from what I know is an anointed land of the Lord. Uh, special land has been prayed for. Um, this is a uh, <laughs> this is my one that I especially made for myself because I'm a big guy. So you can see the size difference here. I'll take this side blown flute and show you the size difference between these things here. Whoop! Let me get it there. All right. See, a quite a bit difference in size. This one here actually almost fit. There it goes. So you fit it right in there. Anyway. I call it the Beloved Senior. It's a really low flute. I can make this for you if I have enough of this uh, size bamboo left. It's very large in diameter. Uh, the fingering patterns are a little bit longer because I've got larger hands. And it sounds like this. Okay, so. And that is a technique uh, that I can cover again real quick with the uh, emblown style. See how I, I slowly pulled off that note? That's like bending into the note. And everything that you do, just make sure that you do it unto the glory of the Lord. You can do all things through the anointing, Christ, which strengthens you. Have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Flow, river of God. Flow, river of Yah. Flow, river of Yah. Wherever your river flows, there is life. Flow, river of God.